Hey, you send, yeah, look here, look here. There's some hyena right here. Blaine, I will get to your question shortly. Let's watch what these uh, hyena are doing. He goes, look at that. Now they're possibly just getting active. Here comes another one. Oh, I can hear them calling. You might be able to hear them. Listen. You hear that in the distance? Rebecca, could you please just quickly repeat Blaine's question for me? Ah. Uh, now, Blaine, um, no, I don't get scared of looking for animals in the dark. Um, but we're safe on the vehicles, Blaine, so we don't have to worry. There go those hyena. See them running up the road? I'm trying to follow them because there was definitely one calling. And I think that's what these ones are all responding to. So let's go and see what they are up to. Have they perhaps found a kill or a carcass? We might lose them if they cross our boundary. They're heading down towards Arethusa. Oh, can smell them. They don't smell very good. So Blaine, no, we don't get, I, I, don't, I don't get scared, but um, like I said, we are safe on the vehicle. And again, Blaine, I think the most important thing is animals are not here to, to harm us. They really aren't. So we, there's no reason for us to be scared. However, we do just have to be careful because they are wild animals. And if they feel threatened or if they feel in danger, they will react towards us. And, uh, and they may react aggressively. But that's purely because they are scared and they are trying to protect themselves. There's no reason to just fear animals. It's not to say that it's just dangerous and everything wants to get you out here. That's not the case at all. But you do need to have respect for wildlife and purely view them um, from a distance and not interfere. That is my opinion. I think we're purely out here to view and appreciate these animals and not to get too involved. And then you avoid any accidents. These hyenas are still running down the road in front of us. I'm just gonna stop and switch off and watch them for a second. Let's see if they're still calling. Can you see them? There they go. Well, just the three of them. There's another vehicle coming up the road. Hang on, I'm gonna try to stay with them a little bit longer. See, it just shows you, you never know what you're going to bump into. I always say that, but I've been saying it all day with this cool weather, we might get more activity from these predators and from these nocturnal pre predators especially. Because it's cooler, they tend to become a bit more active. And also from a, from a lot earlier in the evening. Did they go down here? Where did they go? Cedar Point, there's a possibility that they're hunting, but I think perhaps I think perhaps they are scavenging. Uh, we know the hyena, especially in this area, they will hunt for themselves, but I think at the moment they rely so much on scavenging from other predators. And those other calls that we heard earlier is possibly what they're responding to now. They've just disappeared off the road completely. So they cut off somewhere. Can't 